to Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm Chris McGee, joined by big game James Worthy. Met world peace. And Allie Clifton is going to join us in a little bit. Brez is down at Crypto. That was a fun one. You were excited. That was Dramatic fun. fashion, by the way. The Lakers figured out how to win a close one. I think we all needed that. Absolutely. That was fun. It just brought, brought us back to old times. And it, it looked like a strong team, like a team that belongs in the league. Big game. They had lost four or five. Their last three losses were by a combined 10 points. That weighs on you. It weighs on everyone, especially the guys. You know, Meta, uh, the worthy clap originated in this chair right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bouncy. It started right here with a little. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you bounce out of the chair. Well, time. this was worthy of a bounce, man. Um, yeah, they had. Combined, Combined lost of 10 points. Three games in a so row. So you know that they were just itching, yeah. Gita, right there uh, to win a game. And you're right. We have seen at least five or six games this close in which the Lakers weren't able to close out. And I think uh, uh, tonight they did it on the defensive end. I mean, they had some savvy plays. That's still by, uh, by Schroeder there at the end was key. And so... They closed out. They closed the game out. The stats won't won't tell you as much, but good win. Snapping an 11-game win streak yes, for the Red Hot Memphis Grizzlies. Let's go back downtown. LeBron is standing by with Mike Trudell. All right, LeBron, there have been several games the last couple weeks that have come down to the wire. You guys haven't come out on the right end. How did you flip some of the math tonight when Memphis had several advantages, especially on the glass? Uh, yeah, we just kept our composure and kept... Uh, Executing. We got to the free throw line. We made our free throws in the fourth quarter, and uh, we defended and, and finally started getting some defensive rebounds in the fourth quarter. That play down the stretch there, uh, Memphis probably expecting a foul. Dennis able to sneak in and strip, uh, strip the ball. What did you see on that play? How did that come about? Well, that's what we drew up in a, in a timeout. You know, we said um, we're going to go for the first trap, go for the steal. Um, if we don't get it, once the pass come out, then, then we'll foul. So we followed the game plan, and that's what happened when we execute. You said for years. You've got the broad shoulders, right, to carry a big load, especially since AD went out. Uh, how are you battling through having to do this much at uh, year 20 and, and any fatigue that might come along with that? I mean, that's what, they, that's what the job is called for right now. That's my job description, and, uh, you know, it calls for me to go out and, and be even, you know, extraordinary at times, you know, so it is what it is. Now, as you move forward, LeBron, go on the road and then come back here for some more before a long East Coast trip. What is the message to your team as you continue to try to stay afloat when it looks like at some point AD might be joining in the next several games? We'll see. Uh, just keep playing the same way we've been playing. Uh, tonight we was able to be on the other side uh, of the coin toss. Um, but I love the way we continue to compete. And, we, you know, as we continue to win some games down the stretch, great job, DS. Uh, we figure out how to close some out, so it was a good one. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's LeBron James right there. Uh, Dennis Schroeder was also doing an interview um, with another network, ESPN, because Dennis Schroeder, guys, came up with a huge play, Big Game James. We were thinking, hey, listen, Lakers had the ball down three. They went to the rack. They did not elect to go for a three. They came out of a timeout. Dennis got fouled, makes both free throws. He's a great free throw shooter. Still 13 seconds left on the clock. They didn't foul right away. He comes from the weak side, blind side, excuse me, gets that steal and one. What a finish. Yeah, the, the, the timeout and the conversations that, uh, that they had with Coach Darwin Ham was perfect. They played that last possession to the T. As far as, you know, not trying to get the three, get, to, get the two, get the free throws, and then take your chances on the defensive end uh, with some savvy plays. I mean, uh, they were playing straight up defense, as you can see right here. And then when you turn your back, you know, when you pick up that dribble, and you turn your back. That gives that 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 blindside defender right there. Uh, and Shooter saw it. Uh, an experienced defender. He saw that moment, and he acted on it really quickly with the steal, and to be able to finish. Uh, that was a, a really good defensive end. Nobody knows defense more than you, Meta. That play right there, coming from that side, the way he got that ball, and then finishes. Pretty special. Yeah, absolutely. He's known as a good defender. He had three steals tonight. That wasn't his only steal. Mm -hmm. With eight assists and 19 points. That's the shooter that we were looking for, you know, over the last couple of years. And I'm glad he stayed with it. Had a lot of adversity. And he's going to show it up tonight.
You've had many moments in your career where the crowd has gone crazy, especially, you know, hitting those threes in a, in, in a game seven against Boston. Dennis Schroeder has mentioned many times the year he played here, the way it ended was not the way anyone expected. He didn't have a great playoff. It, it ended kind of weird for him. Um, and, and, and he also has said many times, we didn't have a crowd that year. I wanted to come back and play in front of this crowd for in that, that moment right there, packed house against the hottest team in the league, John Morant, all the fun that was going into that game. It's pretty cool. It is, Gita, and you know, uh, typically uh, it's a, it's a game-winning shot by possibly LeBron or somebody else. You 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 rarely get to see uh, a defensive play uh, like like Schroeder made to kind of you know dictate the outcome of the game. And you know, he's a defensive specialist. Uh, he took the challenge uh, with Ja. Ja did not have a big first half. In fact, I don't really think he had that impactful game, that dominant game. Uh, because Shooter had a lot of, you know, agitation on the on the on the defensive end, but his ability to uh, make defensive plays, gear, uh, night in and night out, and big shots, uh, he gets the game ball tonight. Big game, he, uh, Meta. He was 10 for 11 from the free throw line, and he also had eight rebounds and eight assists. Let's right. not forget that. That's almost a triple double. Yeah. Right. That's the type of player he is. When you let the game come to you. And you're not feeling too much pressure. You're having fun like back in the days when you were in the park. You're going to have, you know, the stats lines just going to be filled up, you know, with amazing production. And that's what happened tonight. Russ, by the way, phenomenal effort by him. Um, Russ, 29 points, yes. 10 of 18, 2 for 4 from 3, 7 11 from the free throw line, 5 rebounds and 6 assists. Big game, James. But just the impact. Uh, the way he played, the pace, hitting key buckets, got a great offensive rebound when the Lakers yeah. were scratching and down five trying to get back in the game. Big yeah, time. it's great leadership. I mean, uh, you know, usually it's LeBron uh, taking the front, and, and, and LeBron was there. But tonight, West, uh, Westbrook really showed his, his what Robert Ory called veteranism yeah. uh, tonight with, with the way he led. Uh, he was very aggressive on both fans, and, you know, you knew he was there. So uh, his ability to set the pace for guys, uh, get guys going, and then uh, helping out with the rebounding as well. Uh, yeah, had a great, a great leadership role tonight uh, for Russell. Absolutely. I, I loved how he played. Uh, you know, we've been, uh, including me, been really down on Russell. as expecting more when he first got here. But I'm really happy that he stayed with it. Stay professional, and not just tonight. He's been playing well over the last, you know, 15 to 20 games, and he deserved a game like this yeah. with a win, not a loss. Yeah, with a win. Great point, Matt. All right, let's hear from uh, the head coach, Darvin Ham, speaking with Mike in the media. Hey, Darvin, so many of these tight games. Uh, how did you end up on the the right side of this one when it seemed like it had, it had been building in the other direction? What was the the key down the stretch? I just think our resolve, our guys showed a lot of character, a lot of fight. You know, it was disappointing to give up so many offensive rebounds and second chance points. But you know, once and foul on top of that. Um, but once you know, we kept our we kept our togetherness. You know, we never got two down. Guys were chirping, talking, communicating. It's constantly encouraging one another to be better on the defensive glass. But the biggest thing, you know, we, uh, we had 10 turnovers, seven points, but for the most part, we took care of the ball. We got good shots. We kept, we stayed in attack mode, playing downhill. And, uh, you know, we were able to get to the free throw line ourselves. And, uh, you know, a plus seven from the free throw line in terms of makes. Um, you know, it helped us, and we were able to knock down some threes. So, hard fought game. It's a hell of a ball club over there. They're very well coached. Um, it was just one of those great, great nights and a hell of a game. You know, I wish I could have watched it as a fan and not been sweating, you know, underneath <laughs> underneath my half zip. But our guys stayed competing, stayed, stayed together, stayed aggressive, and uh, I think that was the recipe. LeBron had mentioned on the court that the, the play where Dennis comes in and gets the steal was something that you guys had talked about in the timeout. Can you just tell us what that discussion was and then how it was executed? You mean just uh, during the, at the, right there? Yeah, at Dennis the, end the steal on Bain, yeah. 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 Well, we, wanted, we always want to give ourselves a chance to create a turnover. You know, we try to get one trap in. We knew we were going to have to foul, but before we just go ahead and foul, you know, a lot of times guys get a little antsy in that position when they have the ball. And uh, he was in a tight area, right, just hugging a half-court line. 
So Dennis coming and Juan did a great job not fouling, showing his hands, and Dennis coming in and him him exposing the ball. I don't know if he really saw Dennis, but Dennis aggressiveness again to go in there and swipe the ball out without fouling and then to attack. You know, just I, I've been telling them be assertive, be aggressive. You know, even when Bron and, and Russell on the floor, when AD gets back, you know, he Dennis is a special player. He's fast. He, he's great when he plays downhill, and that's what he did. He he, he didn't settle. He went attacked the rim hard, got the foul in the and one. Kevin, um, stepping back just a little bit, you, you guys played pretty good teams here over the past eight days and, and, and went two and three. But but how do you feel about things like fight, things like resolve in this group when, when you kind of look at this homestand? And, and what does that say moving forwards as maybe things get a little better in terms of the manpower you have? I mean, you, you, you don't know if you can do it unless you do it. Um, you know, and we, we kept fighting and, and coming up short. And it's been like that the entire season. Um, we know what we're capable of. You know, our pregame walkthrough, I told them, you know, we, have, we, we respect all of our opponents. That's for damn sure. Uh, but, you know, we've shown what we can be and, 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 and what we can do uh, when we've come out with a competitive mindset, a mindset to be together on both sides of the ball and to remain aggressive and, and hold ourselves accountable when we're not playing the right way. Uh, and, and I think you saw all of that. And to get a win like this, you know, it, it's, the, it's a momentum swing. You know, it, it's every, all the guys felt kind of down after the Sacramento game. We went back in, took a look at ourselves, you know, addressed some areas uh, that we needed to get better at on, during film last yesterday. And um, the guys came out and competed their butts off, man, and, and really just fought all the way to the end. There, there's no way we're winning this game if we don't have the type of fight down the stretch that we had. So I think, you know, you have to see yourself be successful when you play like that as well. To play like that for 46, 47 minutes and lose right there at the tail end of a game, it's extremely discouraging. But to do this and then come out with the win against a team like that, um, championship caliber ball club, I think uh, it goes a long way for our spirit, our mentality, and, uh, you know, just our togetherness. Exciting Friday night. What a way to end a homestand and uh, two and three homestand. Not what they wanted, but what a good way to finish it, especially against the red-hot Grizzlies.